Hello all you boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Now, today we're going to do something different. I'm going to do something uh, that my kids have wanted me to do. Simple reason is I've got two kids, boy and a girl. They're six and a half years of age, they're seven in November actually. And my little Reggie and Ruby, they obviously like chocolate because they're kids but we try to give them uh, in moderation and uh, I notice every time I take them to the, you know, the supermarket or the local corner shop and I say to them, go on then, you've got a pound each, hurry up, pick one, you know, because you don't really get much change out of a pound here for uh, some chocolate. Uh, there could be chocolate in the fridge, but they still like to go to the shop and the actual the actual picking of it. You know, they go in there. It's like going into Toys R Us, isn't it? Isn't it? They they like and they're just spoiled for choice, and it's you. They usually end up rushing rushing their choice, and they get in the car after, and they always feel that they could have picked something else, or or they want to taste the, the 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 brother or sister's chocolate bar and see what what they've got so chocolate uh, in our household it's quite important but like I said you've got to eat it in moderation my friend uh, Dennis Hobson he his kids are not allowed chocolate and, uh, and only on a only on a Saturday when I'm, we're not that strict we are kids but uh, I'd like to think that when they're with me they they, uh, they don't abuse it although uh, sometimes I am soft but in these last few days I've been looking into chocolate and the history of it and I, I even got that deep into it. I got, I was looking at the Mars and the Mars company and how it's formed. It's actually somebody's name Mars and uh, the lady had a, who was the hairdresser of it, had a car crash recently and somebody died sadly but that's how deep I got involved in looking into it, all the, how the company started and what calories is in each bar and that, it's, it was quite mind blowing and, uh, and there's a lot there to study and I think that all of these companies here, the top 10 best selling bars in, uh, in, uh, in, in the UK at the moment, I think all of them have all got a story to tell but uh, they've made a lot of money over the years and I think that companies now are looking at, they're looking at not making the bars as big and so the temptation is not there to eat more, I suppose. Uh, but it's it's quite interesting if you get involved in things. I'm quite a deep person. And I like to I like to I like to go uh, go into things and look look at uh, how things were done. And um, I think that all these confectionery companies, or we just call them chocolate factories, don't we? Like Willy Wonka, but all these companies, I think that. They've all done well over years, and I, I like I like all of them. All these top ten selling bars that I'm going to tell you about now in the UK, I like all of them. And I'll eat any of them, so I don't have a particular favourite. Although at the moment, uh, you know, I, we, I seem to be buying most of them. That's, you know, if you're getting a bargain with it, you know, if you get two foot price of one or something, things like that. We always look for bargains, don't we? Stretches money further. Uh, but anyway, so the top, the top one, the top ten. I'll start at number ten then. Right, in tenth place, Galaxy. Now I'm not going to sit here and eat any of these because I'm going to have my dinner in a minute. But Galaxy sold 25.7 million bars last year. These were sold in the UK. 20, 27. 25.7, sorry, 25.7 million of these were sold last year, Galaxies. And uh, I like Galaxies, like I like them, so. But a lot of people were thinking, where is he doing, where is he going with this? And it's just something I wanted to do. My kids, uh, my kids know not to speak when I'm doing these uh, videos, but they wanted me to pick their 10 because I've got my kids top favourite 10 and I think it's something that if you if you do a YouTube it's like me now my my YouTube business it's uh, 
it's starting to pick up a bit of momentum and it ain't just going to be about boxing so but we're going to be uh, doing other things still going to keep it with boxing but like i said we're going to do other things and it's good to interact interact with your kids in ninth place you've got aero now 26.6 million of these were sold last year Aero. I like Aeros, I like the mint one, this is uh, just a purely chocolate one, but uh, I always, you know what, I always think about Aero, they, they, had, they had the advert, didn't they, the bubble advert, now when I was a kid, I remember uh, coming home from school one day, and going to my mate's house, and his mum bought him an Aero, now, and I never had one, and I remember saying to my mate, give me a bit of that Aero, and he saved me a little tiny bit of it, we're called Jimmy Rutherford his name. I used to I grew up with him but I always remember that. Every time I go in a shop and I see an aero, I remember being at his house that day and thinking, Oh, I wouldn't mind a bit of chocolate and he'd give me a little tiny bit. I thought, God. But then again nobody had any money, did they, in nineteen eighty or something like that, did they in the mining village? But I always remember that. So in 8th place, the 8th best selling chocolate bar in the UK for 2018 last year, 32.5 million bars of these were sold. You remember the advert don't you with the uh, take it easy with Cadbury's caramel. <laughs> Cringe this isn't it but there you go, caramel. 8th best selling chocolate bar in the UK. And uh, it's amazing that, isn't it? Cadbury's caramel. Right now, this is this is this is one that I didn't really want to put in because of the advert. I'm not sure if that advert's banned now, but I'll get my. Uh, this is why I'm not going to be eating any any of these because it is a bit cringe if you eat them on camera. But I'm just telling you who's the top the top ten bars in the UK. Cadbury's flake. There you go. Well, we all remember the advert on this, don't we? Right. Thirty-two point seven million of these were sold last year. Thirty-two point seven million of these. Right. And I don't think I've ever had a girlfriend who was ever at one of these in front of me. So that advert obviously didn't work, did it? For for any dates I've ever had. And I don't think any of my friends have, because we've spoke about it recently. But uh, I'm going to get so much stick for doing this video, it's unbelievable. Right, here we go. In sixth place, 35 million of these were sold last year. Whisper. Whisper. I think basically what a whisper is, it's, it's a flake, isn't it, but in a different shape. You know, that, that's how I look at it, you know, but, yeah, it's a flake in a different shape, or similar, isn't it? There might be a few little changes to it, but not that much, but, it's Cadbury's anyway, but, but yeah, a whisper, it's a nice purple wrapping on that, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, unbelievable, isn't it? 35 million. Now, here's one of these that I do like, but the only problem you've got with a crunchy is, now if the makers of this Cadbury's are watching this advert, can you explain to me, somebody who buys your crunches, why every time you put them in the freezer, they break up, and I think that spoils it. There must be a certain temperature that you can put these in the freezer and they don't all crack. So is it because of the air inside the bar or something? I don't know. It's uh, I don't know. It's, it's it's quite interesting, but but yeah, the the uh, the the crunchy when it's not being in freezer, I enjoy it. But when they've been in freezer, and you open it, the bits are all over the place. So I think the best thing to do is just to keep them in the fridge for a couple of days and then have them. So I don't enjoy these if they've not been in the fridge, I like them cold. And what I do, I take all outer edge of chocolate off. So I'm just left with a bit in the middle, but it's one of my favourites of Crunchy. 
And last year, like I've just said, 38 million people at crunches. So I think that's brilliant. I think that's really good. So, thank Crunchy, it's Friday, eh? But, it is what it is, isn't it? It's chocolate, isn't it? So if you eat too much chocolate, your teeth will fall out. So don't eat too much, just eat it in moderation. In fourth place, a big jump from 38 million from Crunchy. In fourth place, another favourite of mine, although I do prefer the fruit and nut. Dairy milk. 47 million bars were sold last year, dairy milk. 47 million bars. That's unbelievable, isn't it? 47 million dairy milk. And this is... Yeah, dairy milk. Cabras. Is it Cabras? Yeah, Cabras. So how many, how many Cadbury's have we got? There's a few Cadbury's here, isn't there? One Cadbury's, two, three, four, five. Five of the top ten are Cadbury's, so they must be earning a few quid. But yeah, dairy milk, they're not bad, but I, like I've just said, I prefer the fruit and nut, but I think the reason the fruit and nut don't sell as much is because of the nut in it, so fruit and not but uh, in third place it's going to be the old favourites in it old faithful Twix 54.3 million Twix and they've made them smaller now have you noticed look so that's a good thing that I think if you make them smaller it's uh, better for calories I suppose isn't it but uh, I like a Twix I like a Twix Twix is alright with a glass of milk at night isn't it if you're sneaking down to fridge in middle at night, but yeah, Twix, 54.3 million, unbelievable. Now next up is one that I thought would have won it because when I was a kid, I was fetched up on these. A miles a day helps you work, rest and play. 81 million, 81 million people, 81 million last year. We're eating these Mars bars. Now the flavour changed some years ago if you remember and everybody were in uproar and I was one of them people when the flavour changed. It bothered me a little bit and you did notice it a little bit but still an old still an old favourite of mine, a Mars bar. Uh, I think when I was a teenager I went going somewhere with my dad and he went into the petrol station and said, Do you want some of And I said, Yeah, he said, What do you want? Oh, chocolate went, yeah, come out with a Mars bar, because I think all there were in them days when my, my dad were a kid were a Mars bar, that's everything's a Mars bar, isn't it? But, uh, 81 million, so it's a lot of Mars bars, that sold, isn't it? Which brings me to the last one, the number one. So in 10th place, we've got Galaxy, 25.7 million, 9th. Place Aero 26.6 million, eighth place Caramel 32.5 million, seventh place Flake 32.7 million, sixth place Whisper 35 million, fifth place a Crunchy 38 million, fourth place a Dairy Milk 47 million, third place a Twix 54.3 million, second place a Mars Bar 81 million. And in first place, well, have a break, have a Kit Kat, a Kit Kat, and they sold 156 million of these were sold last year, that's 156 million, and there's four bars in each one, so basically, last year, over a, th oh, can I four, 456, 600, 46, 12. So over half a billion Twix little single bars were sold last year in England. 612 million of them little bars because there's four in each one. 612 billion single bars, so that's 156 million Kit Kats. So there were a lot, you know what there were last year, weren't there? There were a lot of people 
having a lot of breaks at work, weren't they? Can you imagine? People are like that, aren't they? What time is it? Another 15 minutes, we can have a break and have a Kit Kat. But, out of all these, you know what? I'm devastated. What chocolate bar's not on here? The Cabana, do you remember that? They don't do it now, do they? Remember that Cabana? I really, I really liked that back in the day. But yeah, so... So I don't know what to do now, I'll finish this video. Probably put the kettle on and... Uh, let me see. I'm spoiled for choice, really. I'm really spoiled for a lot, so... And if I eat all of these, it'll make me sick. So I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to put kettle on. And I'm going to have my favourite out of these. Out of these ten. Crunchy. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep buying your chocolate bars, but keep eating them in moderation. You can buy them, but eat them in moderation. Alright, so...